I know you start smelling bacon cooking and you think, is it breakfast time? But in our house, it could be lunch or dinner, especially if we're making this amazing pasta dish, spaghetti carbonara, which is one of our all-time favorites in our family. I'm starting by cutting four strips of bacon, or five, depending on the size. You can see how wide this end is and how narrow this is. So where it's wide, I just cut it in half. And then just cut, oh, about half-inch pieces. This is a dish that, at any given time, has been Miles' favorite dish, Luca's favorite dish, and I can tell you that when I come home from a long day at work and I have no time, and this can cook pretty much in the amount of time that it takes to cook the pasta, it is like the ultimate comfort food for me. I've heated my pan, I'm putting the bacon right in. There should be enough fat here to prevent it from sticking, but if you have any concerns about that, why not add another fat? <laughs> It's a good fat, olive oil, and just, you know, sprinkle a little bit over that. The pasta is boiling away. I put it in, trying to time it perfectly. It should cook for about eight to 10 minutes and just let it boil away. I always salt my water for my pasta. That's really important. Now, here's, a, a, like, put the S in simple for this dish. I have my final pasta bowl here. And I'm just gonna break three eggs right in. And what's happening here, this is gonna create the kind of creamy sauce without cream. Because once the heat of the pasta hits the final pasta bowl, that's gonna be just enough to cook the eggs without really making them, you know, scrambled. So, one cup of Parmesan cheese. And fresh Parmesan in a chunk can't be beat for this because the flavor is so amazing. But if you buy yours already grated, that's fine too. You know, whatever works for you and gets you in the kitchen cooking. So there, uh, maybe that's a little more than a cup. That's okay. Bacon is sizzling away. This just gets scrambled with the cheese. Give a good grate of pepper. We're almost there. So you can see how a 12-year-old would really be able to make this. Mix it up and really make sure that you combine the cheese with the egg. All right, let's check the bacon. I would say just a few more seconds, but that's perfect because I'm gonna taste the pasta. Always make sure your pasta's in good shape before you finish your dish. All right, mm. perfect. Firm, not too soft, not too hard. Now, I am going to put this pasta straight into the pot. Why? Well, I wanna create a little bit of sauce with the liquid. All right, this burner is turned off. I'm just gonna get the last little bit of pasta. So I just wanna stir this around a bit. The fat from the bacon mixes with that hot liquid and creates an actual sauce. Okay, now what has happened over here is we have, yes, I know, raw eggs, but the minute this warm pasta hits this, it's gonna start to cook, but not too fast. It's just gonna cream together. So I'll come back to this in a second, but I just want to get it mixing so I don't overcook these eggs. And it just starts to make a beautiful, creamy sauce. Oh, this is exactly the way it's supposed to look. You'll be able to serve, oh, I don't know, four to six people. Let me just get the rest out of the pot. Give it a go. If it's the first time you've ever cooked a pasta dish, you are gonna be successful for, with this one, and everybody is going to love you for it. I'm gonna give it a little taste. Can't help myself. Mm. I'm swooning.